letting him know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your first and last name, please. Glozell Green. G L O Z E L L. Green, like the color. Great. Okay. Um, tell me, what does this trip mean to you? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh my, everyone that I know that I've told that I'm going, bring me back something, bring me back something. Oh, I can't believe it, you're going. So it means the world, not just to me. And it's been building. I'm like, okay, I'm going. But as the day gets closer and closer, my heart is beating. I'm trying to keep from crying. Every time I see it, I'm like, I'm going to be there. A part of history. In the history books, I'm saying, I was there. So I'm very excited. And I'm so thankful to Congresswoman Corrine Brown who has gotten this trip together first class. We're going to go in style. I know it's going to be great. She covers all her bases every time, and I am going to be on the bus coming from Orlando to D.C., and it's gonna, we're going to have a great time. I know we are. Even though it's cold, I'm not a cold person, but for Barack Obama, our first African-American president, I will stand in that snow for him. Yes, I will. And we'll be all huddled together, and it's going to be a great time. So we'll feel the warmth, the love of the excitement of the day. And what have you done to pack? Oh my goodness, I've thrown in everything I could, but the kitchen sink. I, I've got these little heat packs, thermal heat packs, put everywhere, on every joint. Uh, boots, uh, gloves, hat, scarf, um, whatever you can think of to keep me warm. That is what I'm going to do, because we're going to stand out there a long time. And I'm going to stand as long as I have to, because I'm going to see this inauguration. I'm excited. Fantastic. And did you work on the campaign as well? I, I live in California. Oh, you do? Yes. So the first time I saw um, Barack Obama was at the Tonight Show. And I was like, what? We got a brother running for what? Oh, my goodness. I, 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 my eyes deceiving me. And he was so put together. And I, I was overwhelmed. And to see him come this far, I, I have to tell you, I'm, I was shocked. And I'm like, I think I can. I think I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But... I want to see it. I will believe it. I want to see it and I'm willing to go travel from California here to be in the number to say I was there, a part of history. So did you, when did you fly in from California? Excuse me? When did you fly in from California? I got in yesterday. I wanted to make sure just in case any flights canceled and I had to stay overnight in the airport, I would do that. I'm not going to miss this trip. If I had to walk to Washington, D.C. from California, <laughs> then I would have. I so was, I'm not going to miss it. And you came here to go with your mama? Yes. Okay. We're roommates. Yes, yeah, we're roommates, so this is a special trip all the way around. And Congresswoman Corrine Brown is family. She has always looked out after my family personally and everyone that always works for her in her campaign. She's an awesome woman. What part of California are you living? Los Angeles. Okay. Yes, I'm coming from right where the whole Rodney King thing happened. I live on that same street, so to go from that, from when I moved there, I've been there uh, six years, to... Barack Obama become a president. That I mean, the whole spectrum to leave the hood because that's where I live. It's cheaper to live. To come here and to see this, amazing. I'm feel blessed and I, I I still just can't believe that I'm one of the ones that get to go. And it's because of Congresswoman Corrine Brown. She made it affordable. Nice. Yes. Any idea what's been going what's been going through your mind when you sit there out on the mall or you know when wa watching this swearing in ceremony? What's gonna happen when I when I see it? What's going to go through your mind as you watch this happen? I'm really trying not to even cry now when I think about that. I get a chance to be a part of it, just to see it. For someone who always looks for those African-American role models, and, and there he is, and you can't get any higher than this in my lifetime. I mean, I've heard so many stories from my grandmother and other people about how, you know, black folks couldn't go through the front door and we had to sit over there. And I hear them, but I wasn't a part of that. You know, and I know we celebrate Martin Luther King and he's awesome, but I, I wasn't there. But I'm here at this time, a part of history, and it's just amazing to me, sorry. And I'm um, just, words cannot describe. I'm going not just for myself, but for all the people who didn't get a chance to go. The ones that want to go and can't go. For the people who died, people who hung, for all these people who, who made this day possible. So I'm forever grateful to Barack Obama, his family, and Congresswoman Corrine Brown who made this possible. For someone like me, who for a long time didn't even want to be black, to tell you the truth, to be proud of my, my heritage, my race, and for all people, and not, not just black people. So I'm very excited.
and I, I take with myself all those other people who couldn't go. That's fantastic. Good deal. That's what we needed. Okay. If um, and who's whose place is this? Mine. Okay. And are there are, are there any bags? Well, you're you're bringing your own bags. They're here, but no, nobody else's suitcases are here, are they? No. No. Here. Okay. That's okay. All right. I think we got what we need. Anything yeah. else? That was. Thank you so much for the interview. Thanks for putting your pouring your.